I'm Charlie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious collard greens with smoked neck bones, rice, and cornbread. This dish is a soul food dish. Soul food is a variety of cuisine that originated within the African American culture and it is closely related to the southern cuisine of the United States. And by me being from New Orleans, of course, some of you should already know how we roll. We don't just cook seafood and all that stuff. We also make soul food too, and we're very good at it. That's right. Now, how do we prepare this dish? First, what we do is we prepare our collard greens. We take our greens and we cut them. We rinse them real good. Then, we take our smoked neck bones, add it into a pot with some water, a little onion, and some seasoning, and we make a stock with that. Once that's done, we take our greens and we add it into that stock. And we cover our pot and we just let it cook all the way down until it's like 10% of liquid left, okay? And those neck bones give our collard greens an extraordinary flavor. Very good. Now, as for our cornbread, our cornbread is from scratch, of course, and it is buttery, moist, and a slight bit sweetness to it with a dense texture. And we put all that together, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a soul food classic that you're going to love. That's right. Right down from the deep south. <laughs> And today I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to make this delicious soul food classic. So, let's get started. Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your collard greens and cornbread. And we're going to get started with our ingredients. Okay, you're going to need three bunches. This is about three pounds of collard greens. And along with that, you're going to need one yellow onion and two pounds of smoked pork neck bones. Now you can use other smoked meats such as smoked pigtails, smoked ham hocks, or even smoked turkey, okay? And make sure that whatever meat that you're using, it is two pounds, okay? Alrighty. Now, for our seasonings, you're going to need some Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning some salt and some Chef Paul Poudon's Poetry Magic. Alrighty, and for our cornbread, you're going to need some cornmeal, all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, buttermilk at room temperature, salted or unsalted butter, and two large eggs at room temperature. And to bake our cornbread you're going to need a cast iron skillet and I have a 10 inch cast iron skillet so I'm going to be using this to bake our cornbread okay alrighty and there we have it alright let's get straight to it now we're going to go ahead and get started by chopping up one yellow onion alright now we're going to go ahead and get started by preparing our collard greens all right, here we have a collard green leaf here, and as you can see in the center, there's this long stem. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a sharp knife, and we're going to cut along the side of the stem, going down the length of the collard green leaf. All righty, now we're going to do the same exact thing to the opposite side. All righty, and there we have it. Our stem has been removed. We can go ahead and discard that now. And we're going to take our collard green leaves and we're just going to stack them on top of each other as neatly as possible. And you're going to continue to do this until you have all three bunches of collard greens prepped up. Now we're going to go ahead and take our collard green leaves and we're just going to stack them on top of one another as neatly as possible. Okay, here we have our collard green leaves stacked on top of one another as neatly as possible. Now we're going to go ahead and take them and we're just going to roll them up going along the length of the leaf. Okay, similar to how you would do a jelly roll. Okay, just roll it on up. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and take a sharp knife and we're just going to chop down the roll horizontally, creating strips. 
All right, and there we have it. And I'm going to go ahead and give you another demonstration. Just going to roll it up like that, like how you do a jelly, jelly roll. You're going to take your knife and you're just going to chop down horizontally, creating strips. Very simple, very easy to do. All right, and there we have it. And if you have any that's too long, you're just going to uh, break them with your hands. It's very simple, very easy to do. Now we're going to go ahead and place our collard greens into a strainer. And we're going to rinse these off thoroughly with cold water. Now sometimes I'll spend about 5 to 10 minutes rinsing my stuff off. I make sure I rinse it off really good. Okay. All right, and there we have it. And this is how it's going to look when we're done. All right, now we're going to go ahead and preheat our fire to medium high heat. All right, so in our large pot, we're going to go ahead and add one cup of our chopped yellow onion. And to that, we're going to add one, one half quarts of water. And for seasoning, you're going to add one half teaspoon of Tony Chachere's Creole seasoning and one half teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudon's Poetry Magic. And we're going to go ahead and give that a quick stir. Alrighty. Now we're going to go ahead and take our smoked neck bones and we're going to add them into our water. Give that a quick stir. Now we're going to go ahead and place a lid on top of this and we're going to let this simmer for one hour. Okay, to get started with our rice, we're going to preheat our fire to medium high heat. Alright, so in our small pot, we're going to go ahead and add one one half quarts of water all right and to that we're going to add one one fourth cup of rice i'm going to go ahead and give that a quick stir and now what we're going to do is we're going to let this mixture come to a ball all righty our mixture is at a ball now now we're going to go ahead and let this boil for about five to seven minutes, okay? Now sometimes it can take more or less time depending on your stove, okay? All right, it's been about five to seven minutes now. Now we're going to go ahead and give this a taste to see if our rice is at the texture that we want. And it is ready, ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and turn our fire off. And we're going to drain our rice into our strainer. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and rinse our rice off with cold water. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and take our strainer, place it back on top of our pot, put a lid on top, and that's it. And let it sit. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And we're going to take our cast iron skillet and we're going to place it into the oven. And we're just going to let it sit until we prepare our cornbread batter. Now let's get started with that. We're going to go ahead and add two cups of cornmeal. One cup of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of baking soda. One fourth cup of sugar. Now I know it's not supposed to be added, but I like a little slight sweetness to it. And one fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're going to go ahead and uh, give this a quick stir. Alrighty, got all our dry ingredients mixed in. We're going to go ahead and set that on the side and bring in another bowl for our wet ingredients. Alright, let's get started with that. We're going to add one, one fourth cup of buttermilk at room temperature. Two third cup of melted, salted, unsalted butter. And two large eggs at room temperature. And we're going to go ahead and uh, mix that in until it's well combined. Alrighty, got that nice and mixed in. I'm going to go ahead and set that on the side and bring in our dry ingredients. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our wet ingredients and add them into the dry ingredients. I'm going to take our spoon and we're just going to mix this in. Make sure you mix it real good. Alrighty, and there we have it. As you can see, it's a nice thick texture, nice and smooth, ready to go. 
Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and remove our cast iron skillet out of the oven. And we're going to take some salted or unsalted butter and we're just going to spread that along the bottom and the sides of our cast iron skillet. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and add our cornbread batter into the skillet. Alright, and we're just going to take a back of a spoon and we're just going to spread this around as evenly as possible. Alright, now it's ready to be baked. Now we're going to go ahead and place this into a preheated 400 degree oven. And we're going to let this bake for about 25 minutes. Go ahead and set my timer to 25 minutes. Alrighty, time is up. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our cornbread out of the oven after baking on 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And you're having any type of trouble with your cornbread getting brown at the top, one thing you're going to do is place it into the broiler part of your oven for about 2 to 3 minutes. Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how this cornbread looks at the bottom. Let's give you a quick demonstration. And ta-da, look at that. Nice, beautiful, golden brown color. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and do a toothpick test, insert it, and it's clean. Now, if it doesn't come out clean, just uh, bake it for an additional five minutes. Now, as you can see over here, there's a little damage. My pan almost fell completely to the ground, but I was able to save it. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and take some salted or unsalted butter, and we're just going to rub that on top of the cornbread. And do it the best way you can. It's been about an hour for our neck bones. I'm going to go ahead and give that a quick stir. And as you can see, it has turned into a beautiful stock. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're going to go ahead and take our collard greens and we're going to add that into our pot. All right, and we're going to take a spoon and we're just going to press down slightly. And as you are pressing down, the greens will automatically cook down. And this will happen very quickly. Okay? It's going to look like this. Okay? Look how quick that happened. Less than a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now this is optional. Okay. If you want to add a little additional seasoning, you can, which I'm going to do. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning and a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudhon's Poetry Magic. Now you don't have to add this if you don't. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, stir that in. Now we're going to go ahead and place a lid on top of this and we're going to let this cook down for about one hour. All right, it's been about one hour now. And our collard greens with neck bones is now done. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And that water has cooked all, nearly all the way down. All righty, now we're going to go ahead and turn our fire off. All right, and we're going to go ahead and give this a quick taste. See how it tastes. And oh man, it is good. Ooh, neck bones really give this a lot of flavor. Now we're going to let this cool for about 30 minutes to an hour before we serve it. All right, here we have our collard greens with our neck bones, which we've just finished cooking. Our rice. And our cornbread from scratch. Look at that. Now we're going to go ahead and serve you up a plate and then go ahead and take some rice. I'm going to place that onto our serving dish. Now we're going to go ahead and take some collard greens and place that on top of the rice. All right, and last but not least, the neck bones. We've got to add that on top. Add that right on top of there. Now we're going to go ahead and cut our cornbread. I'm going to go ahead and cut you a nice slice of this. Oh, man. Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and take our cornbread and place it onto our serving dish. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
collard greens with smoked neck bones, rice, and cornbread made by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh. Have a little bite here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, y'all, these collard greens are so good. That smoke neck bones give these greens a good, good flavor. Man, so good. Oh, man. We can have a little cornbread with that. Mm hmm. just right nice buttery dense texture oh a little sweetness to it very very good now I know a lot of people say you're not supposed to add sugar to it but for certain recipes I do like to add a little sugar to my cornbread okay but man it is good man I, I tell you I love my culture I love my food man it is amazing oh and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Collard greens with smoked neck bones and cornbread made by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like up, subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. You can also contact me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Charlie the Cook Andrews. And last but not least, you can also check this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliethecookandrews.webs.com. And until then, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye bye.